We look forward to a lot of things this year. At ako bilang ministro po, I often exhort all our people sa Lighthouse to prove God's grace in their lives no, and be a blessing to others. Naganda po yan, Bishop. Actually, marami nga po nagahangad ng more blessings and yes. even more happiness no, sa pampersonal as we start this year. But often, um, a lot of people also forget to give back na instead of um, just receiving it, sila naman ang magbigay. So tayo naman po ay maging pagpapala sa iba ngayong taon. Eh, maganda yan. At sabi ko nga, Reza, no, you can only, minsan kasi ang tao, you want more to be blessed than to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. But if you actually want, no, to be blessed, I believe you should be a blessing. Mm -hmm. So yan, yan ang malaking kalalagyan natin, ano? Mm -hmm. As a challenge, in fact, na bawat tao ay dapat matutunan yan, ang bag, yan ang katotohanan yan, okay? At dahil, kasi iniisip natin, marami tayong kabigatan sa buhay, marami mm -hmm. tayong kung ano-ano mga problema, we often think of just for ourselves. Right. We do not mind, you know, we do not have a mind for others. So, pag-uusapan po natin yan sa ating episode ngayon. Sa What's Brewing, kasama natin si Dr. Dante Velasco and that should be all about communication. Right. And of course, new year, new ventures din po, Bishop. Ano? And this time, why don't we venture into online businesses? Ano nga ba mga pros and cons in building this kind of business? Abangan po natin yan sa ating Espresso Self as we interview millennials mm. who are not only tech savvy but who also utilize social media and the internet for their online businesses. Mukhang yun talaga ang trend ngayon, mm -hmm. online. No? Uh, in fact, uh, before the past year ended, I, we have been bombarded with mga news tungkol sa dengue mm -hmm. and all this. Uh, lahat ng maraming yan. No? And uh, uh, kinakailangan lang po ay maging well-informed tayo sa mga mm -hmm. preventive treatment sa mga bagay ng dengue. Kasama natin si Dr. Ferna Ferdinand de Guzman sa ating health talks. And you don't want to miss that. Kaya manatili po kayo ng hatutok sa isa ating isang oras ng usapin ngayong araw na ito. Ako po si Ressa Abante Yebra. And I'm Bishop Ruben Abante. So join us and let's have good talk over good coffee. Welcome to Lighthouse, Lighthouse Cafe. Cafe. Naniniwala po tayo na napakaganda na naging simula ng 2018 sa ating bayan. The fact na... Uh, Halos uh, kakaunti na lang, Reza. Mm -hmm. no, 70% down ang mga naaksidente, naputukan no, ng pagpasok ng bagong taon. Para sa atin, napakagandang indication yan. And mm -hmm. we can actually start from that point. Ano? At habang tumatagal ang 2018, lalo tayong nagiging mas epektibo. Paano palagay mo? Tama po yan, Besha. Pero actually, um, kahit maganda ang taon, ano, uh, nakikita po natin na maraming issues na kinakaharap ang ating bansa ngayon. And oh, yeah. the, the more reason that Christian should be relevant. Napakapalag po natin sa episode na ito sapagkat uh, ang ating panauhin ay, Resa, isang dalubhasa ito. Ha? Experto. Sa larangan ng communication. communication. Right. At uh, ginagalang. At walang iba kundi si Dr. Dante Velasco at siya ang tumata yung chairman ngayon sa UP, UP Mass ng Mascom Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. Magandang araw sa iyo, Dr. Dante. Magandang araw po. Magandang araw po. Oh. Mm -hmm. si Shop. Yes. Si Shop. Welcome po ulit sa Lighthouse Cafe. We, we welcome you back to Lighthouse Cafe. Naalala ko, Dr. Dante, nung una kang naging guest dito, bago pa yung election. Mm -hmm. hindi ko makalimutan who the president will be. Oo, hindi mm -hmm. ko makalimutan kung paano mo dinescribe ang bawat kandidato nung araw. Yung oh. real hero at And the real yes. Yes. Oh, analogy. Oo, oh, oh, napakaganda nun. Pero ngayon, no, sabi ko nga, eh, napakagandang simulain sapagkat mm -hmm. eh, nung nabawasan ang mga naputokan na aksidente, it yeah. means eh, merong naging magandang communication, communication. No? yung programang ito mm -hmm. na that our people no, ay tinanga, aware tinanganan nila. Things. Ganun din dapat ang maging simulain natin. Lalo na considering na lahat tayo dapat magkaroon ng effective na napagkakaunawaan. Mm -hmm. Tayo mga Pilipino, lalo na no? Bisaya, Mindanao, Luzon, iba-ibang yes. mga <coughs> probinsya, right. different dialects. Mm -hmm. no? Hindi lang yan, kundi leaders. Right. No? Mga mamamayan. And lahat At hindi lang yung dialects, Bishop, actually culture din. Ano? It yes. has uh, an effect in properly communicating a certain message. Yes. So, Dr. Dante, matanong kita. Yes. Ano ang magandang prinsipyo tungkol sa Uh, communication na dapat panghawakan natin. No? Anong dapat mayroon ang ating communication? First of all, sinasabi nga, truth in communication. Mm -hmm. oh. Dapat truth. But, dadagdagan ko yan, it's not only truth. 
there must be political will in communication, mm. which okay. means credibility. When you say you will do something, yes, mm -mm. they will believe you, and you will do it. You put action into it. You put action. Because if you say something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're telling the truth, but they know that you have a record of not yung, doing what you say. Wag kang magsasabi na you cannot deliver. Right. Yes. Kaya nga yung sinabi yung bishop na successful yung magandang start ng new year dahil yung putukan, it was greatly reduced. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because when the president said, huhulihin namin yung mga <laughs> nagpapaputok, <laughs> oh, oh. di ba? Isasala yeah. namin yung mga firecracker factories, mm -mm. they know he meant well. Yes. And mm -hmm. he meant it. Correct. And they, right. al alam nila na it will be backed by action. Mm. Oh, okay. So, very credible action. po yung communicator. Oh. Ano, Pero, he's very credible wala. and there is a political, political will, will behind. At the same time, a record mm -hmm. of yes. doing mm -hmm. what he says he would do. Pero let me right. point out yung sinabi mong there must be truth in communication. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, you know, coming from Shepherd, I'm a minister. I preach, you know, the word of God. You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ came, He came as truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best. In the beginning was the Word, and He's the Word. He's the verbo. You know, the flesh, the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst yeah, us. And when He came, He came as truth. Mm -hmm. As truth. Yun na napakaganda nun. Kaya pala siya tayo, I'm the way, the, the truth. Truth and the life. And the, and the life. life. Oh. Very consistent, no? Mm -hmm. Correct. And kaya sabi ko, well, God is a communicating God. Oy, he always yan. communicates with, his, the Creator is communicating always with His Creatures. Yes. In fact, mm -hmm. lahat ng ginagawa ng Diyos para sa atin, eh, it's, He continuously reveal Himself to us. Yes. Sabi ng Psalm 19, di ba? Psalm 19. Oh, oh. The heavens yeah. declare the glory of God, mm -hmm. and the yes. firmament shows His handiwork. It's yes. all a communication thing. You look at the heavens, you see Him. You yeah, you, you see God mm -hmm. in all those. Mm -hmm. But of course, God is higher than, the, right. than nature, mm -hmm. no? Yes, of course. At the same time also, even those un still enriched by the gospel, sabi nila, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the commands of God are in the hearts of men. Correct. Mm -hmm. So they can also reason out that if they have not heard the gospel, no? That they are excused yes. because mm -hmm. like, God's justice and God's uh, uh, divine character at, is already established in their hearts. At napakaganda, na si Knight mo yan at the start Why? of the year. No? Because yun talaga ang dapat na platform natin. Eh. Truth. At ang sabi mo, no, eh, leadership, there should, you know, in, in, in leadership, sila ang una nagko-communicate. There should be truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Diba? If you're, you're saying na kapag, kapag ang communication ay, yung katotohanan ng communication, Ano ba maganda? It should be downward from top bottom. Mm -hmm. Ano bang dapat na direction? Well, it comes downward from mm -hmm. the leader. Mm -hmm. It goes also go, goes upward. By Pero feedback. Leader, will, by right feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a complete loop. The sender of the message, mm -hmm. di ba? from the leader up, oh. goes down. But the leader should also listen to mm -hmm. the pulse. Okay. Yung pulso ng bayan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But normally, it should start from the top. Right. Especially if the president says nga, no firecrackers. Mm -mm. Yes. Diba? And then, everybody, you know. Because mm. uh, you there is enforcement. And we can, mm -hmm. we can actually have this as a principle ng lahat ng levels ng leadership. Magmula sa bahay, sa tahanan. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Kote, katotohanan. The father, the mother. Correct. Mm -hmm. Diba? Diba sabi ng mga erring father, do as I say, but don't do what I do. <laughs> Gano, diba? So that's, yes. there's dichotomy. Mm -hmm. Yes. May conflict. So, ibig sabihin, the verbal and non-verbal both contribute to sending out the message ng very effectively, no? Tama because po. you need consistency in mm -mm. communication. Right. Oh, oh. If you say something, but mm -mm. you don't do it. Kaya yung iba, yung mga bishop, yung yes. pastor. Mm -hmm. Ang kagalang-galang sila sa simbahan. Yeah. Pero pagdating sa bahay, medyo Naku. ibang ugali. Kaya yung mga anak nila, mm -hmm. ayaw na lang magpastor. Oh, oh, man, man, no? diba? mm -hmm. oh. So, Kaya ang sinasabi natin, mm -hmm. lahat ng level ng leadership sa tahanan, right. sa mga institutions natin. Mm -hmm. no? Kahit sa mga business establishments. Mm -hmm. no? That's true. Mga may-ari, mga businessmen. Mm -hmm. no? Lalo na yung malalaking mga, ano, no? mga institutions. Sa government lalo. Right. Yes. Right. I think telling the truth is the best policy. Even if you have to tell a painful truth, mm -mm. Yes. kailangan pala yung katotohan. Eh, kahit truth hurts. Mm -hmm. Even if truth hurts. Ibig yes. sabihin po pala si President Duterte, to some extent, 
talagang yung the way he communicates it, it's very effective, ano? Kasi yung latest survey po ng uh, SWS, uh, as Excellent of... Excellent rating. Yes, quarter 4 po ng 2017, nag-jump siya by 10% compared to quarter 3. So, nasa 58%. So, ibig sabihin, majority po ng mga Pilipino ay uh, very good ang rating sa kanya, no? Credible kasi siya, eh. It mm -hmm. even was reinforced by the fact we said, I will end the siege in Marawi. Tatapusin oh. po yan. Natapos. Ginawa niya nga. Mm. Oh. So, lalong tumaas. It was solidified. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it is in sharp contrast to something that happened in Mamasapa, no? Mm. Mm -hmm. natalo ang katotohanan doon. Wala na po yun. Actually, <laughs> natakpan na yung ano, yeah, issue. It's in the minds of people right. na natalo tayo sa minor incident. Mm -hmm. yes. But a uh, very large challenge by the ISIS. Yes. Mga mount. Di ba, mount eh. Mm -hmm. And then nakita yung devastation. And he said, I'll end it. Patapos nga. So, talagang ano yun, it again reinforced that if he says it, he can do it and he will. I just, I just uh, gave a lecture mm -mm. that you can earn the trust of people mm -hmm. if you have competence. Yes. If you have compassion. Yes. If you have candor. Okay. Diba? Mm. Apat yun eh. Candor. And you have commitment. Mm -mm. Yung competence, if you say you can do it, then you must deliver. Deliver, right. Mm -hmm. But also, yung commitment, if you face, if you would like to face the people, don't send somebody who cannot decide. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ang sa ginagawa ni President Duterte, siyang humahanap. Mm -hmm. Siya pang pumunta ng Marawi. Parang, parang laman din yan ng lecture ko. Ah, ganun, nung no? sinasabi na ano ang, saan ba nakasalalay ang kapangyarihan ng tao. Mm -hmm. Minsan, ang kapangyarihan no, ay nasa, naalalagay sa apat na bagay. Eh. Wow, apat na. Una, position. Kapangyarihan yan. Okay? Isa pa, competence. competence kapangyarihan din yan. Yes. Isa pa, personality. Kapangyarihan din yun. Mm -hmm. Hindi ibig sabihin na eh, porke eh, wala kang degree, mm -hmm. wala kang kapang... But personality, okay. meron mga tao eh. Wala naman ikang... Very charismatic. You know, very charismatic. Yeah, Palakas ang appeal. Ka, pag pumasok <laughs> sa kwarto because of their personality, mm, may na sila. Mm. Pero may isa pa. Ano? Character. Character, yeah. character is, is power, in fact. Mm -hmm. character. And therein, in that character, yun ang may kinalaman ng truth. Right. Yes. Character. So if we can put that kind, no, mm -hmm. doon magsisimula ang communication natin. In all levels, sa lahat ng struktura ng ating lipunan, mm -hmm. abing maganda ito. Kasi yung character, no, to pick up what you said, yung character mo, kitang-kita yun eh, di ba? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sabi nga yung, ano, there was also a survey among presidents in America. Mm -hmm. They had three qualities. Yes. Character, competence, chemistry. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh. Nung una, itong author, si Bill Hybels yata, Bill yes. Hybels. Yes. Oh. Ang ano niya, competence po na. Tapos character, tapos chemistry. Okay. But when he got a team together, yung competence pala, may nakahira siyang bankero na dishonest. <laughs> so, okay. pinalitan yung order. Oh. Character muna, sabi niya. Important yung character muna. And then competence comes later. Mm -hmm. And then yung chemistry is the way you relate with people. Uh -huh. chemistry. So, in ano yun? Character importante. Tama. Mm -hmm. Kasi doon nagsusimula lahat eh. Sa ano naman, uh -huh. sa yung nga, yung survey sa mga presidents of America, mm -hmm. top five presidents, mm -hmm. no? George Washington, Lincoln, Bruce Franklin Delano Roosevelt, di ba? Mm -hmm. Roosevelt, and then Reagan. Reagan, so price of so price. Ang number one din character. That's good. Uh, Lincoln and Washington character. Mm -hmm. Ang interesting, yung may competent si ano si yes. Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero mahina sa character pala. <laughs> eh si Trump lang. po. <laughs> Tapos naman, magandang character ni Jimmy Carter. Yes. Mahina naman sa competence. competence. Okay. But you will be surprised. Ronald Reagan had high points in character, competence, and chemistry. chemistry. Mm -hmm. Now, related to communication, they can see through your character eh. Mm -hmm. How is character mm -hmm. ano, demonstrated? Your track record. Yes. You you keep your word. You say something, you keep your word. Diba? Mm -hmm. And then, yung charisma na sinasabi, character din yun eh. 
Yes. Sabi nga nila, yung karisma, hindi lang gwapo. Nagaya ni Bishop. O si Risa, di ba? But charisma is a an accumulation of being able to to deliver what you are. There's heroic something heroic in you. Yeah. There's something resonant in you. You're warm, uh -huh. right? They see you fight and you in your battles. Mm -hmm. They see you suffer, but yes. you still have your character intact. Uh -huh. Charisma, yun. Mm. Charisma. It's not a put on charisma. Ganon siguro na kuha ni... Parang like ito sa personality. Oo nga eh. Ganon pala yung ninanong yung Presidente Duterte. Oo. Hindi naman masyadong guwapo. Pero karispa. Yes. Ang lakas ng karispa niya. Naisip ko lang po, no? Parang very challenging yung ganyang ano sa Pilipinas. Lalong dito po sa bansa natin, napakalakas ng effect ng social media. Di ba? Ang daling mag-bash ng isang tao kahit na anong ginawa niya sa bansa na maganda. I-bash lang or fake news. Nagiging viral na po. ano How does it affect yung leadership ng mga ano natin sa gobyerno ngayon. Importante pa rin nga yan, yung social media kasi is, mm -mm. it subjects you to closer scrutiny yes. hour by hour. Oh. If you are inconsistent, lalabas yun. Mm. But if you are consistent, no, kahit na nagmumura ka but they see the total personality, mm -hmm. they trust you. Right. Mm. And then, kasama na yung it resonates with like sabi ni Presidente, mm -hmm. I will uh, deal with crime. I'll be against drug. Mm -hmm. I will, I will end poverty. And then last yung campaign speech niya, mm -hmm. I'll provide leadership. Okay. Yun lang, kapanipaniwala siya doon. Kahit na mayor lang siya ng ano. Ng Davao. Davao you, know, you know, I like the word you said. What? Yung ginamit mo, resonate. Yeah, he resonates well. Oh. Ibig sabihin... It's, it's not just being effective. No, resonates means you say something There is vibration. We have vibes, kame. You know, my vibes was too much. What's what's the difference? Pag-usapan nga natin yun. Kasi dati ang palagi ko narinig effective communication. And what you're saying right now is your communication dapat nagre-resonate. Resonating. So so what's the difference basically? Kam, yung effective kasi is the word effective. Measurement lang yun eh. Mayroon kang rating scale effective siya o ineffective. Okay. So effective means you you meet your objective. Then you then you are effective. Effective means ano? Eye contact. Yung lang yon. Projection. Very resonant. Stage presence. Yung lang yon. Effective. Effective. Pero ang resonant. Dalawa yon na effective at efficient. Okay. Yung effective you do what is right. Yung efficient you do things rightly. Okay. But na iba na yun. May resonating communication. Resonating leadership. Yung resonate is Yung nga, you are a resonant leader mm -hmm. when you inspire. Okay. okay. When they feel warm about your personality. When, Magaan, ano, ha? when you energize mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. When you inspire people. Mm -hmm. you, get them, you get them to move. You get you them to move. They, call you to identify action, with ano? them. Mm -hmm. You listen to them and you can... When you preach... Alam mo, naalala ko tuloy yung kwento nung ano, isang What? parang... Oh. Isang uh, oratorical contest. Mm -hmm. so, oh. Meron daw uh, oratorical contest na ang piece nila, ang contest piece nila ay eh, Psalm 23. Wow. So there was a young man na pumasok, umakit sa stage. And uh, so he recited Psalm 23 with all the mechanics. Lahat, mm -hmm. inobserve niya. Nag-post muna siya, tumingin sa audience. The Lord is my shepherd, sabi oh, niya. Pagkatapos eh, talaga maganda yung projection ng voice niya. The Lord is my shepherd. Ano? And well. Uh, Oh. Pagkatapos niyang mata, pagkatapos ng kanyang ano, palapakan lahat. Wow, galing. But there was an old man who stood doon sa stage. Oh, ano? And he simply stood. And then, he, he folded his hands and he recited. Wow. Pero he was just looking up to heaven. Wow. And he recited it. Pagkatapos niya, there was no clap. But there was silence. There was silence. Wow. And the moderator came up. Mm. Ang sabi ng moderator, the young man, He knows the peace. Mm -hmm. He wow. knows the sun. Wow, grabe, no? This old man, he knows the shepherd. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yun yung resonate. Resonate. Kasi yung resonate, naka-identify siya sa tao. Mm -hmm. diba? Yes. Parang ganun yung ano, nangyari sa ano, yung si Demosthenes daw. Oh. A good or orator, di ba? Communication mm -hmm. to, di ba? When other orators will ano, speak, yeah, he's a good speaker. Yes. Palakpakan. Diba? Mm -hmm. But when Demosthenes speaks, pag nasa nila, Demosthenes, diba? 
Let's march with the most in Call to action. Diba? Yun eh. Yun yun, yun eh. Resonate yun. Right. Eh, lalo na. So may paniniwala po, ano? Lalo what na you ngayon, said. alam mo, yeah. progress <coughs> no, is a call to action. So we need leaders yeah. no, mm -hmm. who can make such a call. Ito na nga yun. Mm -mm. Oo. Kita mo si Presidente Duterte, sabi yan, nagbumura. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi nila eh, unang-una, kumakalik pa ng mga babae doon sa kape, <laughs> di ba? But why, why is there magnetism in leadership? Why is there resonance mm -hmm. in leadership? Yung resonance na word kasi, ginamit ni Coleman. Mm -hmm. Siya yung author ng Emotional Intelligence. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he had another book with Primal Leadership. And then... Primal okay, leadership. Primal leadership. It goes term. back to the very primal. Yes. Diba? Vital. Right. Primal. No? And then sabi niya, yun ang kailangan natin, yung primal leadership, mm -hmm. which resonates with people. Nakaka, ano ba eh, diba? The present defies all logic eh. Mm -hmm. Diba? It defies all traditions. Mm -hmm. Kaya kung, if you take a second look at the president, may primal leadership yun. Talagang primal mm -hmm. na primal na eh. Diba? primary. Kasi yeah. may emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Naka-identify ang tao. Mm -hmm. Yun ang communication na dapat tignan. Mm -hmm. I will not mention names. Tignan mo ibang kandidato. Diba? <laughs> yung iba, they, she relied on the real hero. Diba? Tsaka alam mo, one, one thing about him, no? ay hindi siya dependado sa kung ano ang survey, kung ano sinasabi ng media. Uh, what, what's your take on that? Eh, kasi, pag media, yun ang communication na natin, no? Eh, meron pa nga sinasabi, eh. Ito, they are the basis ng... Pulso ng... Pulso ng ano? Bayan. So, what's your take on that? <laughs> well, since I am an academician at the same time, <laughs> no, I, I believe in surveys. Mm -hmm. Yes. I believe in uh, the right methodology sa survey. Maraming survey na mali. Oh, pero may mga tele telephone calls. So, meron pang ano. <laughs> in, kaya hindi, you know, <laughs> Oh. Yung husband mo, the researcher, oh, may principle dyan eh. Yes. Un unang, unang kailangan sampling. Okay. Tanggalin mo yung bias. Mm -hmm. Pero yung calls kasi, hindi mo na kukontrol yung sampling eh. Hindi mo na kung sino tumatawag. Mm -hmm. Tsaka kailangan po properly distributed. So, proportional dun so, sa distribution, so, random distribution. age group, SEC. Kaya yung telepono is not dependable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kaya kahit na may nangyari sa Amerika nga, 1 million ang sinurvey. As an authority on commu in communication, I must take your word for that. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was a classic example. Eh. They oh. predicted the victory of Dewey against Truman. Okay. My headline na, Dewey wins. Oh. Because one million voted for him. But the, the survey, by radio, ang nag-respond lang yung Republican. Oh, okay. Oh. Kaya bias. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In surveys, you have to remove the bias, bias. in sampling. Mm -hmm. Kaya kailangan mong random sampling, di ba? Mm -hmm. Mas clustering ka. Mm -hmm. So, yung telephone, walang, ano, eh, walang screening eh. Tsaka limited lang po yan. Marami actually, Metro Manila. At tsaka pwede yun, ano, i-stage ano. manage yan. Uy, mm -hmm. dikit ka sa telephone, tatawag ka. Okay. Hindi ano yun, hindi dependable. Hindi reliable. Ang tawag namin yan, hindi reliable. reliable. Walang re reliability index, walang, ano, di ba? Hindi reliable, uh -huh. okay. hindi valid. Uh -huh. But, uh, so, talking about that, but talking about leaders who do not all the time consult the survey, mm -hmm. a good leader does not look back all the time on surveys. Mm -hmm. diba? Because he's the leader, he just leads the country. Correct. Let the surveyors, let the searchers mm -hmm. measure that. In fact, mm -hmm. I but know. But he does not look at the mirror all the time. Yeah. Pang nagda drive ka, titingin mm -hmm. ka sa mirror, baka makabangga ka pa. <laughs> right. Diba? Oh, In fact, I know of a leader na hindi talaga umasa sa surveys. Sino? The Lord Jesus Christ. He was alone wow, when he was there. Oh, syempre naman. Diba? Oo, oh, eh kung survey lang ang pag-uusapan eh, wala siyang numbers. And all he had were people behind him, labing dalawa. But they, they, they even left him. But in reality, he had many. Yes, of course. Look at the boat. No, bakit tayo sa Bible, no? Yung the choice between Barabbas and Jesus. Oh, yes. Nasa Bible that the Pharisees bribed ba the people <laughs> to vote for Barabbas. Yes. Di ba? So we thought Christ had no support. Mm -hmm. Pero binayaran kasi yung mga tao. The very people who said, Hosanna, Hosanna, yeah. were the same people who said, crucify him, crucify, crucify him. Yes. Mm -hmm. So very, ano yan, very like, 
ang ginawa niya, Viva Voce, si Pilate, eh. who those who are for Barabbas, they didn't know that nagbayad ng mga Pharisees. Mm-hmm. But to, Jesus had many, much following also. Pero, But he did not, ano, he did not rely on surveys. Mm-hmm. He was not looking back all yes, the time. Yes, of course. Because you cannot do that all the time. Pero, the leader. fact is, whatever people said, his message resonates and even now it resonates. Yes. You can say that again. <laughs> it's, really oh, oh. it's even deeper. It gets into your heart. In fact, mm-hmm. this program stands on that resonating message. I yeah. think so. I believe so. Yeah. And it changes lives. Yes. Alam They mo, respond. Alam mo, ang usapan natin dito, palagay ko eh. Patapos na ba ito? Di ba? Ulitin na. <laughs> we have anything more na i-share sa Well, eh, maganda kasi because we have this divine, ano, divine yes. communication. Talagang we, we have a communicating God eh. Di ba? Yes. Mm-hmm. He made sure there's a Bible. Yes. So that we can read the Bible. Right. Uh, he revealed this to the prophets, right? Or to yes. the writers. Right. But we also we also communicate with him by praying, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. And there's a two-way communication. Mm-hmm. Of course, there are beliefs about my iban, my continuing revelation, iban naman hindi, uh-huh. di ba? So, theological debate. Yeah. <laughs> But we need, we have a God who communicates with us. No may debate noong unang araw, di ba? mga atheist, mga God is dead movement. Mm-hmm. Alam mo sa akot ni Bela Graham, no? That cannot be. God is not dead. I just spoke to him this morning. <laughs> oh, diba? yes. Because God is communicating. Oh. Right. Now we have that. As you have quoted John 1.1, yes. uh, kaya word eh. Oh. Ang napakaganda doon, word talaga. Mm-hmm. And he came to the to, to, to earth in the, prime, in the prime of life. Yes. Nung wala pang, ano, wala pang film. Oo. Kasi yung film may wala, supply. Wala pang social media. <laughs> may supply is po. Yung hindi na-edit na ito. <laughs> Itong word it di eh. Right. It was written by Papyrus. Yes. Diba? It was written by Paul and they cannot splice the take. Correct. Mm-hmm. Or they cannot. Oo. Kasi yung gawin, ma, ma ano mo yan. Wala pang Photoshop no. Wala pang Photoshop. <laughs> <po, wala pang laughs> <po>. Editing. <laughs> so he really came in the prime of, no. Yes. Ang tawag doon, in the right, proper right. time. Yeah. And it is recorded Yes. So, yung recording nga lang, and then the translation of the Bible, mm-hmm. di ba? Talagang communication yan. Yeah. And the, the word has survived through the years. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was burned, di ba? During the dark so, ages. Mm-hmm. Yung, oh, anyway. so, so um, generally lang, pero usapan natin, eh, leaders should have resonating messages. Message. Resonating, yes, resonating communication, you know. So, kung halimbawa, ta- ta- I, I will, uh, I will uh, ask you something. What what can you tell our leaders now in all as in all areas of leadership? Well, first of all, our leaders should ano nga, they should check themselves. Yes. Mm-hmm. Check their heart or check their motivation. Mm-hmm. They say they want the want they want to change the constitution. Mm-hmm. Anong agenda nila? Yeah. I heard us you know, if you want to change the constitution because you believe so, then that's good. Mm-hmm. But if you want to change the constitution, they'll ayaw mo magkaroon ng eleksyon. That's the fact. <laughs> diba? Ayaw mo ng eleksyon, baka matatalo ka. Mm. So, motivation muna. Yes. No? And then that resonates well. But, but the, most, the, the, the most important is, they know you care. Yes. Yeah. When you come across, kaya sinasabi sa communicators, when you speak on television, you are there to, to help. You are there yes. to enlighten. Right. You are there to connect. Yes. Mm-hmm. You have no other you have no other motivation but to connect or relate or explain or illuminate. But others don't do that. Mm-hmm. They as they they obfuscate sabi ng iba. They confuse people. Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. They manipulate. You communicate people. because you have something to share. To say. To yes. say. Yes. That's good. Kasi iba like the president has something to say. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he communicates in in whatever way. Others have nothing to say, but they continue saying something. <laughs> oh, wala. So there, it, this is a long. Hello, uh, if ever I I would be asked by people, kung sino ang pwedeng kunin bilang you know consultant, and I would highly recommend you. Oh. Dalo, Expert nga po talaga <laughs> sa communication. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat, Doctor Dante. Parang ay clean ng oras pag nandito ka, eh, no? But uh, <laughs> well, uh, we will have more of you. Okay, sa ating uh, segment Sige, ito, make it sa ano? Lighthouse. Yes. Basta may kape. Regular na lang. Regular na lang po. Salamat. Okay. Yes. So, 
Ayan Thank po. You, Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Yes. Meron tayo pang hahawakan ngayon. No? Resonating communication para sa ating mga And leaders. And truth in communication. And truth. Very good. Truth is the best defense. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, Reza, pasalamatan natin si Dr. Dante. Maraming salamat po, Dr. Dante. Thank you so much right. for sure. being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you po. Yeah, thank you. At Good samahan day. naman po natin si Gabby and Antoinette sa ating Espresso Self. Mga usaping in, mga paksang trendy. Mga talakayang may kabuluhan. Lifestyle at kulturang sariling atin. Buhay Pinoy, pag-usapan natin dito sa... Espresso, Espresso Self! Self. Internet, mm. bagong taon na. Yes. So I'm sure sa ganito ka-early pala ng taon mo, medyo hectic na yung schedule mo. At sobrang hectic ka ng schedule natin, minsan very um, parang hassle na. Mm -hmm. Yung lumabas, lalo pag pumunta ka sa mga malls, di ba? Buti na lang, at may mga online means tayo of shopping. Oh, actually, hindi ko na nga maalam, maala, maalala, Gabi, kung kailan yung huling time na nag-mall ako. Mm -hmm. At actually, ngayon nga, may magbo-birthday ako na friend. At syempre, nahihirapan na rin akong uh, pumunta sa mga malls para maghanap ng gifts sa kanya. Kaya, eto, nag-check na lang ako online ng mga stores na pwede kong pagpilian ng kung ano mang pwede kong i-order para dun sa friend ko. Sobra ka naman. Hindi naman ako nag-expect na ang mga <laughs> special na mga gifts. Kahit na ano na, kahit tumantang ako ng mga blessings. Diba? Pero tama ka dyan, Antoinette. Alam mo ba na online shopping, yung isa sa mga uh, parang pa-trenda ng patrend at saka pa-popular na pa-popular ng mga means ng, ng shopping ngayon. Even uh, isang survey nagsabi na parang 29% ng mga online Uh, people mm -hmm. and they shop online. Nung 2016 pa to, so medyo tumaas pa yan. Uh, At actually, kaya siya convenient kasi yun nga, hindi ka na mamamasahe, na doon nga, parang kumbaga nasa tips na ng, uh, ng kamay mo yung, pag, yung pagbibili. And also, nakakatulong talaga yung mga platforms like Facebook para doon sa mga ano mga sellers mismo. Kasi napopromote din nila yung mga uh, yung mga products nila ng libre, di ba? Hmm. Tama yan, Antoinette. So, Nakapili ka na ba ng gift mo para just sa special friends mo? <laughs> Ayun, sa friend ko, ito nga pinag-iisipan ko. Siguro yung magandang gift sa kanya, something sweet, katulad nitong crinkles, red velvet crinkles na to, or something useful as this these bags. Yan, sakto, Antoinette, dahil hmm. tinitingnan mo na rin yung mga products. Yes. Kilala ko sa yung mga owners ng mga ganyang online Aba, businesses. Aba, talaga. <laughs> And since uh, pinag-iisipan mo ngayon, tutulungan hmm. ka nila ngayon mag-isip para makapag-decide ka final ko ano ibibigay mo sa special friend mo na yan. Yan, that's great. Hmm. At syempre, welcome natin ngayon, nabanggit mo na nga ang owners ng, or ang owner ng Sugar, Sugar Jar, na si Miss Joanna Salayo. Welcome to Lighthouse Cafe. Mm -hmm. At? Of course, Miss Dariel Koo, one of mm -hmm. the owners of Dindan Customized Bags. Welcome, yeah. Dariel. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's start, uh, Antoinette, now, mm -hmm. siguro kay uh, Joanna. Um, tell us something about uh, when you started this this uh, online business. What made you start? Pwede mo bang pakikwento? Well, I didn't plan on putting up an online business talaga. I just um, decided, one day I decided to um, bake red velvet crinkles and post it on my Facebook account. Mm -hmm. And then, bigla na lang nag-message yung mga friends ko na, Uy, is this for sale? Or mm -hmm. how much? Ganon. Mm -hmm. And then from there, yun, tinuloy-tuloy ko na um, bumili na sila. And then, mm -hmm. yun. This is what year, Miss Joanna? Um, late 2013 siya. Mm. 2013. And during that time, uh, nasan ka? Were you in sa school or um, nagtatrabaho ka na? I took a break from work, eh. Ah, okay. So, yun. So, parang uh, distressor mo yung pagbibake. Yes. And then, all of a sudden, nag-hit siya. Kumalat mm. na lang. Yes, ganun po. Wow. Mm. wow. How about <laughs> yung dindahan naman? Ayun, sa amin, ano, iba naman. Nagsimula siya na... Um, parang nagkaroon kami ng urge na mag-franchise ng something pero hindi pa namin alam kung ano. Okay. So, na eh, sa Facebook marami ng online shops, mm -hmm. ganyan, and mga products na pwede rin available for reselling. So, may nakita kami, yun nga, yung uh, customized bags. Mm -hmm. So, ayun, napag-usapan namin ni, uh, ng ate ko mm -hmm. na kami yung mag-partner sa dindahan. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, actually, doon din ang galing yung name ng shop mm. namin din dahan. Kasi Dindi siya, then Dada ako. Wow. Pero my true name is Dariel. <laughs> Ayan, so, din dahan. Din dahan, din Gabi. That's where it started. Ayun, na, um, nag-urge mag, mag-franchise, then nakakita ng product, then nabuo yung shop. Mm-hmm. Ang galing, no? Kasi sa at their young age, oh. meron na silang ganong, kumbaga, awareness and urge exactly. to, kumbaga, to, uh, to have a, their own ano, business, mm-hmm. ganyan. So, ano yung nag-urge sa inyo? Curious lang ako. <laughs> sa, ano yung, kumbaga, nag-push talaga sa inyo na, tara, let's do it. Ang ganun. Um, sa amin, feeling ko magkaiba kami ng ang ate ko kasi student ako, tapos mm-hmm. yung ate ko working na siya. Mm-hmm. So, feeling ko sa ate ko, dahil working na siya, Siguro, um, dumating na rin sa age sa kanya na parang curious na rin siya mag-explore ng iba pang um, uh, adulting. Uh, adulting. Hashtag, 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 hashtag adulting. <laughs> Ayan, so hindi naman siya sobrang mala- malayo sa akin. So parang ganun din yung nafe-feel ko na parang gusto ka rin mag-explore and ma-experience um, kung paano mapasok sa business. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Darnell, bakit kaya bag yung ano, napili yung product? Mm-hmm. Um, bags, kasi um, feeling ko nakikita niyo din naman sa time natin ngayon, ang dami nang nag-dress change, ang dami nang mm-hmm. nag, hindi, lang, hindi lang tayo nakakonfine sa isang type ng bag, like shoulder bags, sling bag. Mm-hmm. Um, karamihan nang nakikita na natin ngayon, like backpacks na and drawstring bags. Mm-hmm. And nung nakita namin ng ate ko sa Facebook na, mm-hmm. ayun nga, franchisable, kung may word man na ganun, mm-hmm. yung customizable na drawstring bags. So, nag- ano talaga, nag-ting sa isip namin na parang, uy, pwede to, feeling namin papatok to sa audience. Mm-hmm. So, nabanggit niya na yung meron tayong social media platforms, ganyan. So, ano-ano pa, maybe sa Facebook, Miss Joanna, for you, um, how did it work yung, yung ito, yun nga, yung paggamit natin and pag-maximize natin ng social media to your advantage sa sugar jars? For me, very um, active talaga ako sa Instagram. And mm. yun nga, nagkaroon ako ng 17,000 followers na. Wow. So, dun ko talaga. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ikaw lang, ano dun? Personal account po, 60,900. So, 17,000. <laughs> And, <laughs> yun, very convenient mag-sell kasi um, walang rent unang-una. So why not, di ba, na-try natin na wala namang mawawala if mag-post tayo and then may bumili na. Mm. Oh, and the power of social media. Yes. Isang, basta nag-click lang yan para mag-trending na yan. P- uh, pwede nyo bang i-share, Joanna, yung uh, requirements? Uh, parang how, how do you formalize yung ganyang business? Uh, gaano ba siya kadali? Anong kailangan gawin? Put up lang ba ng pangalan? And of course, the product, yeah. ganun lang kabilis? Or? Opo. Um, y- you have to um, meet the um, your market. Mm-hmm. Parang para kanino ba okay. mo ito pinupost? Mm-hmm. And okay. then, ano yung gusto mong ipakita sa kanila mm-hmm. na platform? Mm-hmm. Yun. Yung main product mo, kailangan mong i-feature and parang i-hype sa um, maka- followers mo mm-hmm. para ma-entice sila na bumili. Kailangan maganda yung pag-post. Mm-hmm. 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 Kasi, Even yung mga parang <laughs> flat lay, ganyan. Mga ano yung composition. Yes. Pero and, uh, I'm sure napakarami, Antoinette, uh, even the Ariel, napakarami ng cupcakes dyan, napakarami pastries. What sets yung sugar jars um, apart? For sugar jars, kasi um, it's not like yung the typical Dessert in a j- desserts in a jar because most of the um, pastries in a jar are cake. Mm. Ba? Parang cake in a jar, ganon. Mine is red velvet. Um, favorite siya ng mga um, youth and the millennials, mm. yung red velvet crinkles and the cookies. And then nasa jar siya. So iba yung packaging. Um, it's good as gift ideas and giveaway mm. ideas. Mm. And also, um, pwede nyo siyang i-personalize. Mm. So you can choose kung ano yung for events, pwedeng ilagay yung pictures ng um, mm. celebrant or, or um, bride or groom, ganon. Mm. Wow. Yeah, also... Hindi na si <laughs> <laughs> So, um, f- from yung original nyo na target market, ngayon nag-expand na kayo kasi from what Miss Joanna is saying, no, parang nag-umpisa siya sa ano, friends lang. And yes. then ngayon, nag- mm. even yung mga tokens na for wedding, for special events. Yes. Mm-hmm. I believe ganun din yung sa dindahan, no? Kasi mm-hmm. ngayon nakikita ako nga yung sa news feeds. Parang even yung mga, ayan, yung mga ganito na pwede mong parang kit, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, paano din kayo nag-expand to sa ganun? Um, siguro, um, audience-wise, mm-hmm. yung syempre isipin din, di ba, yung reach mo muna bago mm-hmm. ka, um, 
mag-post ng products mo, ganyan, mm-hmm. kung iisipin mo kung paano ba siya papatok. Mm-hmm. For example, yung mga hashtag natin, kailangan mm-hmm. isipin, you know, isipin natin kung ano ba yung sinasearch ng mga tao, mm-hmm. anong klaseng composition ng hashtag ba yung ginagawa nila, mm-hmm. like, um, ano bang sample, hashtag sample. Pet sample. Pet yeah. like, hashtag ako, pet malu, bagay. <laughs> <laughs> kasi <laughs> ano, <laughs> um, kasi, ako, um, Online seller din, and online shopper din ako. So, kung ako wow. naghahanap ako ng product sa Instagram, ang isa-search ko yung hashtag drawstring bags PH. Yeah. Ganun. Kasi mahirap pag drawstring bags lang yung tinipe mo. Pwedeng... Kami nasa Indonesia oh, pa. Mga nasa Malaysia, <laughs> all over Asia, ganun. Minsan sa US pa. So, mahirap. So, pag nilagyan ng PH na lelesen yung... Ayun, nakakonfine siya into Manila or... Hmm. Philippine products. Mm-hmm. Tapos sa uh, kasi ang maganda sa products nila, Antoinette, mm-hmm. I think, um, customized yung uh, design. Mm-hmm. So, bahala yung customer kung ano yung gusto yung design, mm-hmm. kahit na ano. Apo. Tapos, you do the the artwork. Tapos, mm-hmm. uh, uh, shipping, free shipping na yung sa inyo, di ba? Or may uh, uh, pick up ba kayo? Pa- paano yung, ano, yung means um, of uh, the purchase and the delivery? Ayan, mayroong shipping fee, pero pag um, nagpagawa sila, kanya in bulk order, mm-hmm. syempre may discount yun. Mm-hmm. Parang mahirap na wala kasi... Uh, baka ma-aloof yung mm, customer. So, mm. pag bulk yung orders, um, maging ano tayo sa kanila? Um, mm. Hospitable, mm. ganyan. Um, um, so, mayroong shipping fee and pwede rin pick up depende mm. sa napag-uusapan kasi mabilis na eh. Social media, mm. nakakapag-usap mm. lang, mabilis lang. So, depende sa napag-uusapan, mm. nagagawa naman na Mm-hmm. Curious ako, Antoinette, mm-hmm. kasi online businesses to, gaano ba kahirap or kadali yeah. mag-manage mm-hmm. uh, ng uh, isang online business, Joanna? Oo. Oh. Pwede kang mag-share kung may mga <laughs> madamdami ka. Uh, <laughs> uh, experience. <laughs> <laughs> Madali lang naman i-manage. As long as, um, I think what's important is that you stay active mm-hmm. and parang mm-hmm. you keep your followers updated. Mm-hmm. Parang... I think it's important na nakikita nila every day or mm-hmm. like every other day may nakikita silang post mo. Post, oh. Like even yung happy Sunday or yung good mm-hmm. morning. Parang it's important. If wala kang post na feedback or mm-hmm. orders, parang mm-hmm. you stay active pa rin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's your typical day na pag mamanage ng sugar jars? Like, parang, uh, do you bake every every day? Do you po, uh, and then post every day? Or mm-hmm. do you do the accounting? Uh, paano ba? Uh, parang industry? every day, parang all of it ginagawa ko. <laughs> may isa ka lang? Bake, uh-huh. um, right now, I have my bakers na may helpers mm-hmm. na din po. Wow. Lalo na for bulk oh. orders kasi mm-hmm. kailangan talaga yun. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. For ano naman, dindahan. Mm-hmm. Yung mga may, may difficulties ba, handling mm-hmm. customers, eh syempre different, lalo na ito customized. Mm-hmm. So, di ba, minsan hindi ma may meet mm-hmm. yung, yung order, yung pag-print. Mm-hmm. So, may mga ganun bang nangyari? And how did you handle it? Um, uh, many times na actually, kasi mahirap customized siya. Mm-hmm. So, minsan pag nagsisend kami ng designs for approval mm-hmm. sa customers, uh, minsan pinagpuyata mo siya, pero mm-hmm. uh, may pinapa-edit pa din. Pero okay lang sa amin yan, basta ma- uh, ma-please namin yung customers. Pag na-please naman sila, fulfilling naman sa amin yon as sellers. Um, nag-start lang kami kasi um, last year, 2017. Mm-hmm. So, um, siguro compared kay Miss Joanne yung experience, no? Mm-hmm. Starting pa lang talaga kami and mm-hmm. happy kami sa ginagawa namin. Mm-hmm. Sa ngayon. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and especially kay Joanne, I believe this is parang uh, full-time endeavor na for mm-hmm. you. Uh, tama ba? Yes po. Oh. And then nag-venture na rin ako into bazaars. I join mm-hmm. bazaars every weekend. So, mm-hmm. so, so and <laughs> yan yes. Sugar jars every day ka na. Mm-hmm. Basta may jar, may, may sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, ano, so for you, ito yung question ko. No? Kasi maraming natatakot na mag-venture yan. into this. Tama yan. No. Yun yan, na mag-business kahit na marami ng platforms. Ganyan. So, Kayo ba, paano nabanggit ni Daryl kanina may urge ganyan? So, anong advice na mabibigay niyo for those who are starting or want to start? Um, ako, um, just go for it. Mm-hmm. Kasi wala namang mawawala. And um, for sure, um, very helpful yung mga friends niyo. Support mm-hmm. nila yung business niyo. Very mm-hmm. important na um, yung word of mouth or yun nga, yung platform na social media para i-share yung mga products nyo. Madali lang naman siya. Mm-hmm. With just um, one click, di ba? Mm-hmm. Or tap, ma-operate nyo na agad. Sa, um, through your phone lang, um, magagawa nyo na agad siya. 
Tsaka, uh, Antoinette, uh, I think uh, isa sa mga advantages ng online businesses, uh, especially may, medyo mas smaller um, scale, medyo low risk siya, di ba? Tsaka low capital yes. din. Uh, mm. So, I'm assuming hindi ka gano'n nahirapan. Tsaka, uh, I think one factor is, uh, passion mo yung pagbibake, tama ba? Mm. So, yes. dapat matikman natin yung product niya. Mm. Mm. Dapat talaga. <laughs> Kaya, uh, Daria, oh, any challenges doon sa dindahan nyo? Pag <laughs> ma- ma- maaga nagsasara or ba? <laughs> Actually, ano, parang anytime na nag, uh, may message yung mga customers, mm. pagkakita namin, na-reply namin kagad. Wala talagang ano, time. Tipagal nil-reply is within uh, hour pala to. Uh, sana, ano, hopefully. <laughs> Matest nga yung ano, customer service nila. <laughs> De, pero for sa mga, yun, mga youth pa sa ngayon, anong ma-advise mo na, um, yun, ma-inspire din sila na mag-venture into <laughs> online businesses? Mm-hmm. Um, siguro, uh, for online businesses kasi, hindi mahirap yung um, puhunan kasi mm. sa amin kasi for dindahan nag the drop shipping kami um, meaning may supplier kami then sila yung nagprepare sa bags tapos nila deliver sa amin tapos yung nag-order sa amin sinship namin sa kanila mm-hmm. so mang maganda doon at check pa namin yung quality kung sa tingin namin magugustuhan ng customers yung orders nila mula sa amin so siguro ang tip ko sa mga mag-venture into online businesses um wag matakot kasi you'll never know um, yung outcome unless uh, you try. Okay. Pero let's make sure na safe yung um, papasukin natin. Mm-hmm. Parang mag-ingat tayo sa mga bogus buy, ay bogus mm-hmm. sellers, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Kasi mahirap na pag nag-invest ka doon, parang biglang mapupunta sa wala mm-hmm. lahat ng mm-hmm. inefortan mo. Mm-hmm. So, Maganda yung point yun about the uh, fake se- uh, mm-hmm. bogus uh, sellers. sellers and mm-hmm. uh, even buyers. buyers. Pero mm-hmm. may na-experience na ba kayo? And we uh, advise din. Um, sa bogus sellers, wala pa naman kasi mm. isa pa lang naman yung suppliers namin for the mm. bags and pouches. Um, and bogus buyers, wala pa naman. Uh, and praise God, wala pa naman. <laughs> <laughs> future plans for sugar jars, Joanna? Um, future plans, siguro mo, more um, bazaars to join. Mm-hmm. And um, siguro a website kasi as of the mm-hmm. moment, ang platform ko lang is Instagram mm-hmm. and Facebook mm-hmm. na wala pang rent. So, um, sa website kasi kailangan um, may mag operate na and mm-hmm. then may IT involved mm-hmm. na. So, yun mm-hmm. sana. Long term, do, do you intend to, ano, to put up uh, your mm-hmm. own uh, big shop? Yung physical uh, store. Big shop or cafe, hopefully. Wow. Pag- wow. Ay, Sugar jar mm-hmm. cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Dindahan. Uh, mm. so you're in the, if, in the if, future. Yeah, in the future and later on if you want to invite uh, our viewers to check and uh, visit mm. yung uh, Facebook page nyo um, and also yung selection nyo, mga uh, offerings nyo. And, and like ano, Ms. Joanne sa Sugar Jars, ang platform lang namin is Facebook and Instagram mm. and hopefully ano, website then kasi mas malawak ni reach nun eh. Parang mm. type lang nila yung website mo and all, lahat na ng info nandoon and how to order ganyan. Hindi na nalang kalang mag-search sa profile mo and mm. something like that. Um, siguro, um, product-wise, uh, bukod sa drawstring bags, pouches, meron na kami actually tote bags and um, backpacks. Um, customize kasi yung amin, so minimake sure talaga namin na maganda yung quality. And sana yung quality namin through the years mag-improve pa. Mm-hmm. Yan. Wow, parang long-term pa ganyan plan. Oo naman. Offer <laughs> yes. ano. Dapat meron din kayo mga shirt, apparel, mga caps. Watches, oh, lahat plan. na. Oh. Yeah. Buildings. Ang dahan. Antika. Maraming products actually pwede ka na pwede like mugs. Oh. Oh. Ganun, Dapat ito. Oh. Well, this has been uh, parang a refreshing uh, conversation. And, and very natin. inspiring actually. Oh, kasi mabata pa nila, oh. diba? And especially the local entrepreneurs to. So, mm. magandang supportahan talaga natin. Mm. And naalala ko lang, uh, even, syempre, we're talking about business. Pero yung, kumbaga yung practical, practicality pa din ng, uh, ng Bible, ng, ng salita ng Diyos about, mm. yun yung sabi ni Dariel kanina na dapat we make sure na happy pa din yung customer na we give the right price, the right amount. Mm. Uh, we can still apply it kasi at the end of the day, syempre, ang goal natin ay yung tayo ay maging pagpapala mm-hmm. sa mga sinaserve natin. Very well said, um, And uh, on the practical side, we talked about it starts with a uh, you know, great product. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to stay uh, connected with your uh, customers, of course, keep them satisfied and mm-hmm. take advantage of the, the yes. digital platform mm-hmm. and social media natin. For more of the biblical guidelines, um, and practical na papanahon, pakinggan po natin si Bishop Ruben Nabante in Hebrews.
Welcome to Hebrews. Ito po ang segment sa ating Lighthouse Cafe na naglalayon na base po sa mga naging usapin natin sa kabuuan ng episode ng Lighthouse Cafe ay mapag-usapan tayo na mayroong kinalaman sa salita ng Diyos. Hebrews, na ang Diyos ang siyang kumikilos sa ating kalagitnaan, sa ating mga pag-uusap, sa ating lipunan, sa ating mga komunidad. Pinag-uusapan po natin ang magandang simulain para sa ating bansa sa taon na ito. At isa-isa sa ating segment, in fact, tuon po sa segment ng uh, uh, What's Brewing, ay napag-usapan na maganda na sa bagay ng komunikasyon, sa larangan ng komunikasyon, ay ito'y maging base sa katotohanan. The significant truth that we should have, the resonating truth, resonate communication, at ang lahat po ay ang pinanggagalingan ay ang katotohanan. There is a verse in the Bible na palagi pong binabanggit o ginagamit ng marami sa ating lipunan. At ito ay nasusumpungan doon sa John chapter 8 and verse 32. Na ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. May I say na ang isa po sa gusto natin sa ating lipunan ay hindi lang po kapayapaan, ngunit freedom ang kalayaan. Ano po? Sino nga bang Pilipino ang ayaw ng kalayaan? Marami tayong inaawit ng mga, mga patriotic songs. Ano? At gusto natin na nababanggit ang kalayaan. It's a precious thing para sa ating pong lahat. Freedom. Ano po? Subalit maganda ang sinasabi ng verse na ito in that it says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Well, in the onset po, Ang katotohanan po dito ay tumutukoy sa Panginoong Isu Kristo, being the truth himself, because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. But the truth na kinakailangan po natin ay hindi lang po si Kristo, kundi the virtue of truth in us. Ano po? At base doon sa sinabi nating verse, na, na sinabi ng Panginoon, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Meron pong kinalaman ng katotohanan sa bagay ng kalayaan. Kung gusto po natin ng kalayaan, kung pinagpapahalaga natin ng kalayaan, ay hindi po natin maaalis ang virtue ng katotohanan. Ano po? Na nagiging significant upang tayo magkaroon ng freedom. Ang simulain po, ng kalayaan ay palaging katotohanan. Subalit nga po, ang problema natin sa lipunan natin ay ang maraming mga fakes, maraming mga hindi makatotohanan mga bagay. Subalit maganda pong simulain sa atin na ang katotohanan ay pagpahalagan po natin sa lahat ng bagay. Katotohanan sa ating mga dealings. Katotohanan sa ating mga relationships. Katotohanan sa kahit sa commerce. Ano po? Katotohanan sa mga kalagitnaan ng mga sigalot and everything. Katotohanan sa media. Katotohanan sa news. Ano po? Katotohanan sa lahat ng mga undertakings. Katotohanan sa lahat ng aspekto ng governance. Katotohanan sa ating mga sarili. Lalo na sa lahat ng mga leaders. Ano po? Sinabi natin yan sa ating segment kanina. Kung hindi po natin mapalawig ang katotohanan sa ating kalagitnaan, ang magsasuffer po sa ating lahat, ay ang kalayaan. The only way na ang kalayaan ay iiral po sa atin ay ang bagay ng katotohanan. May mga pinag-uusapan po tayo tungkol sa ating saligang batas. Ano po? Sa ating constitution. Now, the point is this. Ano po? Ang katotohanan po ay dapat ay platform o ito ang pinakapundasyon din ng saligang batas. Ano po? Hindi po tayo gumagawa ng mga batas ang ayon sa kung ano ang hatak o kung ano ang kagustuhan ng ilan. Kundi ang ating pinaka-core ng ating uh, mga kautusan, mga batas, ay truth. Kaya nga po, eh, kahit sa aspekto ng justice, ito yun ang gagaling sa truth. Sa aspekto ng mga judgment, ano po? ito yun ang gagaling sa truth. Kung kaya nga po ang punto po natin dito sa ating Hebrews ay ang pag-angat, pag-iingat, ano po, at ang attitude natin sa bagay ng katotohanan. Sa social media, kailangan natin ng katotohanan. Sa lahat ng balita, katotohanan. 
Ibig sabihin, kung gusto po natin ang lahat ng blessings ng ating lipunan, simulan natin sa virtue ng katotohanan. Let's have the Christ-like attitude, the Christ-like mind, the Christ-like heart. And knowing Christ, ay malaking bagay po ang lahat ng ating pinatutunguhan because everything emanates from the truth. Papalain po kayo ng ating Panginoon. Last year, 2017, the Department of Health reported considerable drop of dengue fever cases in the first half of the year. And ayon nga sa survey ay mayroong 43,770 cases nationwide na nai-report. And actually po, ito po ay isang magandang balita dahil ayon din po sa pag-aaral, ito ay 36.8% lower than the 69,297 recorded cases in the same period of 2016. And even the fatalities reported po also went down significantly noong 2016. Buti na lang na marami ngayon ay mas nag-iingat na at mm -hmm. meron din ginagawa ang ating gobyerno para maiwasan at mapanatiling mababa mm -hmm. ang sakit na ito bawat taon. Actually, may mga kilala nga akong mga mommies na doble ingat mm -hmm. at laging nag ng mga mosquito repellent na Products. mga products mm -hmm. para sa kanilang mga chikiting para makaiwas sa mga kagat ng mga, lamo, mga lamok. Mm -hmm. Actually, nakikita natin dyan yung mga patches mga stickers, na mga stickers uh -oh, for kids cute. na kung dati ayaw na ayaw ng mga bata na talagang Hello. maglagay. At uh -oh, least ngayon, they're ng family friendly mm -hmm. na pwedeng gamitin. Kaya to give us more information about dengue and how to prevent it, we are privileged to have our guest doctor for today, a medical specialist for chairman sa Department of Family and Community Medicine mm -hmm. from the San Lazaro Hospital, Dr. Ferdinand de Guzman. So, welcome po to Lighthouse Cafe, Dr. de Guzman. Welcome po. Yeah, magandang araw po. So, yeah, magandang araw, magandang araw, araw din po. The viewers po. Yes. Mm -hmm. po. Ayan. Ayan. Uh, first po, ako na, magtatanong po ako agad about dengue. Ano po ba ang um, specifics kung ano po ang nangyayari sa, na, pag nagkaroon ng dengue? Okay, so, uh, dati po ang dengue, dumadami lang po yan during the second half of the year. So, mm -hmm. yung tag-ulan po. So, mm, this was opo. considered to be one of those seasonal diseases before. Mm -hmm. Pero lately po, these past few years, we have been seeing cases of dengue throughout the year. So, hindi ah, na po natin opo. masasabi na dadami lang ito or the risk is there kung tag-ulan po. Opo. So, it happens throughout the year. We are seeing cases of dengue throughout the year. Mm -hmm. no? But the good news is, as you have mentioned at the start po, medyo kumonti po. No? It has dropped by mm -hmm. as many as half no? 50% mm. of cases nationwide. So kahit po buong taon siya, umunti yes. pa din. Opo. Pero nandyan pa rin po ang dengue. Kaya Opo. kailangan pa rin po ang, ang awareness and continued, uh, let's say, support of the government in the efforts to control the disease. Yes. Opo. Ano po bang naatake sa katawan kapag nagkaroon ng dengue? Okay. Dengue po kasi is, uh, uh, or kasama po siya sa mga tinatawag natin fever rash. Fever kasi pag nilagnat po, okay, karamihan ng dengue cases po, nagkakaroon din ng rash. Okay, so mm -hmm. fever rash po siya, uh, papasok po yan sa katawan through kagat ng lamo. Uh, so vector borne po ito. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yung tinatawag natin, Aedes mosquito. Mm -hmm. So pag nakagat po ng mosquito, usually is the female who bites po and sa araw po ito kumakagat. No? Mm -hmm. uh, sabi nga nila, it's uh, after dawn and before, ano, uh, after dawn, no? Mm -hmm. Sunrise, okay, Sun and before sundown. So, bago po maggabi, this is where uh, you are at the highest risk for the bites mm -hmm. from this mosquito. Pero most of the time po, day biting ito. So pag nakagat po kayo nito, you would start to develop yung tinatawag ng mga doctors as viremia. So mm -hmm. nagkakalagnat po kayo, nagre-reaction na ang katawan. Okay, mm -hmm. now, BOH guide po dito sa melagnat, lalo na po na nasabi ko that dengue is present throughout the year. Pag dalawang araw na po ang lagnat, okay, melagnat po, masakit ang katawan. Okay, yung iba po, may sipon, may ubo, mas maganda po, two days of fever, magpa-check na po ng dugo. So ngayon okay. po, may madali na po ang blood count and meron po kami screening test for dengue. In fact, San Lazaro Hospital gave us 10, uh, 
the DOH gives San Lazaro Hospital 10,000 kits in tinatawag na NS1. So, rapid test po ito for dengue. So, mas maganda po yung kasama ito sa prevention, seek early treatment po. So, magpatingin ka agad pag merong lagnat. Lalo na po kahit two days. So, yun nabanggit na nga ni Doc yung iba sa mga signs and symptoms talaga ng dengue. And yun nga, kahit talaga, ano eh, kahit po parang masyado na siyang common, talagang kailangan pa rin po talaga natin yung reminders dahil year-round na nga po talaga siya nangyari. Hindi na lang siya basta seasonal eh. Pwede siyang mapagkamalan pong flu. Yung tinatawag namin influenza-like illness po, ILI. So yung iba po, pwede yung sabihing pneumonia ay ubu-ubu. Pero in fact, it turns out to be dengue. And remember, dengue, tridor po, nasakit yan. Lalo na po pag nawawala ang lagnat. So ang mga nanay po, nagiging complacent or confident, ay wala na ang lagnat. When in fact, that's the riskiest part of the disease. Pag nawawala ang lagnat, dun po nagbibleed. So another manifestation po is dumudugo ang ilo or gum bleeding. So yun po yung papunta sa signs and symptoms of severe dengue. Ano nga po ba, Doc, yung mga warning signs na kailangan po talagang i-take note ng mga mommies natin or mga daddies natin na nanonood na talagang ito po, kailangan nyo na talaga siyang dalhin sa ospital, ganyan. As I mentioned, of course, i-consider natin ang season. So, throughout the year na po yan. So, sipon ubo, then may lagnat. Okay, so sabi ko po, pag two days na po ang fever, have it have the blood no, of the patient, of the child checked. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So, pag na-check na po yan, malalaman natin if it's dengue or not. Okay. Pero kasabay po ng lagnat, masakit ang ulo, masakit ang katawan. Then, mm. kung kailan nawawala ang lagnat, nose bleeding. Okay. So, yung sinasabi natin, warning signs, abdominal pain. Abdominal pain po anytime you might go into severe dengue kasi masakit pa ang tiyan, yun pala ang pupo niya maitim na. Mm -hmm. So ang tinatawag po ng mga doktor niya, clinicians, is melena. So maitim po ang dumi ng bata or ng pasyente. That means it's a sign of bleeding. Pag okay. maitim. Ah, yes, okay. opo, pag maitim. So it's a, early, a warning sign na nagiging severe po pag nakita ng nanay na ang dumi ng bata po is maitim. is a sign of hemorrhage or bleeding. So, pag ganyan po, patient has to be brought to the hospital. Hindi pwede sa bahay. Mm -hmm, yes. In the same way, pag may nose bleed po, mm -hmm. or nag-toothbrush siya, and biglang nag-bleed ang gums. So, you have to stop uh, toothbrushing, gargle lang muna, and have the blood check. Kasi remember, may lagnat siya. So, okay. signs of bleeding, bleeding manifestations, Warning siya, pero anytime magiging severe yan because patient will go into shock. Okay po. Nababanggit niyo po na madalas uh, mga bata yung nagkakaroon eh. Pero yes. may specific age groups po ba na madalas nagkakaroon ng dengue? Okay. Uh, actually po, it affects all ages. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang, uh, karamihan ng cases na nakikita po namin na sa pediatric age group. Ah, okay. But, uh, we were told by the older medical specialists at San Lazaro, gusto gusto na ng lamok yung dugo ng bata. So, we fresh. thought all the while matamis ang dugo ng bata mm. and fresh. Pero, entomologists have told us, uh, gusto raw po ng lamok, yung sweat ng bata. So, yung chloride ah, in the skin. Di ba, mga mahilig bata, maglaro. Po, mahilig maglaro. <laughs> mahilig mag-gym? So, it attracts the mosquitoes. Oh, po. Kasi tayo, napupunas tayo. Oh, But children, of course, pag wala ang nanay, hindi mo punasan. Oh, oh. So, they are prone to bites. Lalo na po sa araw, they play during the day. That's why more children get beaten and of course, they don't know what to do. Yun pala masama na ang pakiramdam nila. Ayaw nilang sabihin sa parents because baka mapagalitan po sila. So most of the time, makikita na lang ng nanay, may bleeding manifestations na, warning sign, which might go into, which might develop to more profuse bleeding. So signs of severe dengue na po, signs of shock. So, yun po ang delikado. Opo. Follow up lang po. Meron pa po bang ibang other groups na kailangan mag-ingat like yung mga nandito sa environment na ganito? It's good you mentioned it, ma'am. So, I mentioned na mga bata. Karamihan po ang magiging. But actually, kahit kayo po, you might not notice it. Papunta kayo sa work. Because most of the children that we have seen, hindi napansin go, they come 
to and from school, nakakagat po ng lamok. Mm -hmm. So kayo din po, when you go to work, you might not, you might not notice, mm -hmm. baka makagat kayo ng lamok, so akala yes. niya kung ano lang yun. So anybody is not exempted no, from mm -hmm. the disease. Anybody can pick up or develop the disease pag nandyan po ang lamok. Okay. That's why mm -hmm. sa prevention po, ma'am, uh, ang first S actually, kasi 4S po yan, sick early mm -hmm. treatment, so nasabi ko na po yun. The first S is search and destroy. Search So yung and mga destroy. breeding sites po ng mosquitoes. So kasama po uh, actually, tinitila ko kanina kung may flower vase dito. No? Because <laughs> flower vases po, they're clean. Remember, ang lamok na ito is yung lamok na social na sinasabi namin. Because they like to breed in clean mm, places. Clean. <laughs> so ang lamok na ito, so yung, yung uh, clear flower water. vase that is clear mm. water. Yes. Mm. Yung po gusto nila. So you might be in at work and din nyo alam, meron na pala ng mga kitikiti -kiti mm -hmm. ng lamok na ito. So okay. it's a mosquito with stripes and they bite during the day. Mm -hmm. They bite during the day. Mm -hmm. So yun nga, no? so ang sinasabi nga, nyo po ngayon, Dok, is yung prevention na po ng dengue na napakahalaga, lalo na po ngayon na talagang hindi na nga po talaga siya seasonal. So meron nga pong 4S, so una na po dyan is yung, ano nga po ulit search, yung, search, search and, destroy. and destroy. So yun okay. po yung mga pinagbabahayan ng yes, mga then when mosquito. the symptoms po, like fever mm -hmm. develops, seek early treatment. Seek early treatment. Mm -hmm. Yan po yung pangalawang okay. S. Yes, and the third one actually na mention na ni Ma'am. Self-protection oh. measures. That's why Ay, you see mothers pinapahin mm -hmm. ng insect repellent. Mga mm -hmm. Of course, mas maganda yes. na po yung mga pagpahin Patch. ngayon. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi it used to be medyo toxic yan sa mga younger patients. Pero ah. right, ngayon po medyo okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And, and the, the fourth S po, po, ito is the local authorities are the ones responsible for this. Mm -hmm. So this one is say yes to fogging pag may outbreaks po or Maraming mm. cases po of dengue in a barangay. Mm -hmm. So, authorities would see that mas maganda po kung patayin na lang ka or karamihan, ang tawag natin is fogging, yung mga mosquitoes. Kaya mm -hmm. lang hindi po ito usually done. It's not being encouraged by the Department of Health. Kasi po, lilipat lang yung mga lamok sa ibang places, sa ibang barangay. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi po sila lahat na eliminate. Okay, so these are the four S's po. So always kahit sa anong administration po, this is what the Department of Health will push for sa prevention ng dengue. Ayan, maraming salamat po, Dok. Sobrang dami po namin natutunan na kahit po familiar na ako sa dengue, parang ang dami pa rin bagong information na natutunan, lalo na yung four S's. So, sana po ang ating mga viewers ay nakuha po natin yun bago nating natutunan tungkol sa sakit na dengue. Mm -hmm. Ayun, tama nga po yun. At sana po ay naalala nyo po yung 4 S's na naituro po sa atin ngayon ni Doc. Kaya para po sa mga karagdagang pang impormasyon tungkol sa ating kalusugan, abangan nyo po kaming muli dito lang sa Health Talks! Thank you for having joined us in our talks today here at Lighthouse Cafe, and we hope you enjoyed our discussions and you were practically blessed. And we would like to thank our ministry partners, Marami Salamat po sa Four Gospels Catering Services, and to Lighthouse Blooms for our creative onset decor. Maraming salamat din po sa Miami Cakes and kay Miss Rexy Custorio para sa amin namang cupcakes dito sa set. At para naman sa mga on-the-go na palaging nakamobile, you can easily catch our latest episodes through our YouTube channels. Hanapin po ninyo ang Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church channel and GCTV YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can also watch the latest shows via our new GCTV mobile app and the Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church mobile app. You can download these apps via App Store and Google Play Store. That's right, Antoinette. And we would love to hear from you. Send us your comments via our official Facebook page. Hanapin lang po ninyo ang Lighthouse Cafe. You can also send us a message via email at goodtalks at lighthousecafetv.com. Also, don't miss the pulpit. Dito pa rin po sa GCTV tomorrow. Same channel at Channel 185. And we would also like to say thank you sa lahat po ng mga Lighthouse na mga gawain in support of this Lighthouse Cafe. This is supported, in fact, by all the rest of the Lighthouse works all around the country and even abroad. And so be with us again next week as the Lighthouse Media uh, of the Lighthouse Bible Baptist just brings to you another episode of the Lighthouse Cafe. Where, Where good talks happen. happen.